Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Notes from the Sewing Room. My name's Becky, and in today's video I'm telling you all about some bits and pieces I've been making for my holiday. So I hope you've had a good week, whatever you've been doing, and you've managed to squeeze in a little bit of sewing time. Um, I must say that um, over the last few weeks I've not had lots and lots of um, sewing opportunities myself. So um, this weekend I set aside some time and I managed to make three projects, which is really exciting. Um, so I can take all three of them on my little trip to Wales that I'm going on um, soon. So yeah, really looking forward to my trip and it'll be great to wear a new um, outfit or two when I'm there as well. So first things first, I'll tell you about what I'm wearing first. Um, I must confess that my top is actually a shop-bought top, so I didn't actually make that, but I actually did make my skirt, so I'll just stand up a little bit just to show you. So it's basically just a gathered little skirt uh, with an elastic waistband, uh, which is really nice, it's really comfortable. Um, so to make my skirt, I basically used the uh, gather uh, pattern, which is um, one of my favourite patterns uh, for the Mort main dress, and um, I've used that pattern loads and loads of times. I just really like the shape of the skirt. So um, I basically um, just, rather than putting on um, the, the waist area that's supposed to go with the skirt, I basically just added on an extra inch um, and folded that over and made a casing for the elastic. What else did I make? I've made two jersey tops as well. So one has a, a nice little neckband and the other one doesn't. So I'll talk you through both of them. I got the fabric from, I think it's called Sew Your Own Wardrobe. Uh, which is in Ashby Delajouche in Leicestershire. So um, I went to visit Adele from um, Button and Pip um, a little while ago to record our kind of joint vlog for the hack off and called into the shop when I was there. So of course uh, I couldn't come away without buying anything. So um, I found this fabric actually in the rummage bin, which is really cool. Um, it was less than a meter. So I've actually made a molly top, a sew over it molly top from one of the e-books. Um, basically, I didn't have quite enough fabric to do the curved hem, so I basically straightened it off at the bottom, um, and also I didn't have enough fabric to make the neckband, so literally I've overlocked it, turned over um, the top, and then I've stitched it down with a twin needle. Um, I did have a few dramas with my twin needle, I must say, when I was making both of these um, jersey projects. Um, you know, sometimes, you know, it, it works lovely and then other times it just seems to really play up on my machine and I don't really know why. I think it's something to do with the tension settings or something like that, but I um, got there in the end with it, so that's that's okay. So, um, But I'm really looking forward to wearing this one and I think it'll look nice with skirts and jeans and that kind of thing and uh, it will just be quite practical for wearing on my trip. The next one... It's made in some um, lightweight cotton jersey fabric that I got from Crafty So and So in Leicestershire. I ordered this one online. Um, I've actually got this fabric in a couple of different colours, um, so I really do like it. You probably may probably seen me in a, a red cocoa top um, that's in very very similar fabric. Um, so this is actually one of my favourite ever patterns, the Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top. So I actually made it with a slightly crop sleeve. Um, I only had a metre's worth of this fabric. So um, I added on uh, the neckband that it's supposed to have and then just did the shorter sleeve. Um, but I think that would be perfect. Uh, not only do I like spots, but I also love wearing jersey tops. So um, it's a, a winner all round for me, that one. So I think, again, it'll be really practical and it'll go with loads of things in my wardrobe. So yeah, that's perfect. But that's all I've got to show you today. So just quite a short video for me. I'm gonna be back on the vlog uh, soon uh, with some more projects to share with you. Um, but until then, I hope you have a lovely week and I'll see you very soon. Bye.